What's going on? Oh. <laughs> What's going on, Larkin fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Your boy almost ate. You know what? But today we are finally doing the first oil change on our Shelby GT500. There is 1,140 seven miles on the car right now a little over a thousand they recommend anywhere between 500 and a thousand for the first oil change so we're gonna get the break-in oil out of the car and um, we're gonna do the oil change and I believe after if I'm not being lied to we are gonna put her on the dyno and get stock dyno numbers for you guys so we are working right now with CJ Pony Parts and JLT Performance to get some parts for the car and we're going to be doing dyno numbers after as well. So we're definitely pretty excited to see what it puts down on our dyno because every dyno is different. We're going to go ahead and get the numbers for the car 100% stock um, and then that way we can kind of gauge what we're doing as we do mods. We're just going to get it on the lift, get the oil out of the car and hopefully it comes out clean but we will find out. Alright guys, quick interruption in your regularly scheduled programming. I am wearing the wrong hat. Had my work hat on, but now have to put on my Larkin Motors merch. Head over to LarkinMotors.com to buy your own. Alright folks, so we are just diving in to do the oil change right here. Uh, step one. Don't fall. Don't fall. <laughs> step two. Find the oil filter. We got... Where's the catch can? Let's check that while we're in here. It's not like a... Oh, it's not a friggin' quick it's not one. It's like a JLT or anything. Yeah. Right? You heard him. JLT, if you got something better, send it over. <laughs> 25 fireworks circle. And all fan mail, actually. Feel free, guys. It's a... It's not a, a... It's a cartridge, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can always just look it up, but that's no fun. Yeah, no. Google's only for people who need it. And I, I look everything up on Google, so I'm just real lying. Well, bugs all over my car. There's friggin' bugs in it already? God damn, brother. Bugs in. Take care of this thing. We got friggin' silverfish in there. Up with it. The official first look under Larkin Motors 2020. Shelby GT500. Here we go. Yeah, we need we need less of this for sure. Uh, looks all right from here back. We can deal with that, but not not that we'd ever think about doing a cat delete. You know, we're here thinking of the environment, so we're gonna keep the cats. We just might not keep them on the car. But we're thinking under door number one, definitely gonna be something under there. But it's pretty sick looking under this. Full blown race car. Look at this freaking aerodynamics. God. All right, Jeff, we're changing the oil. Where do we start? <laughs> All right, guys, so Rob had to stop by in his C8. We installed the cats and they was throwing an emissions code. Uh, we're not quite sure what it is yet, but yeah, sounds good. Uh, but he said he's going to, uh, it's going to have a little fun for the boys.
Yeah. Dude. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, that was good. <laughs> good job. <laughs> See you, dude. Thank you. I'll say it time and time again. Rob is a savage, boys. <laughs> My God. We really need a C8 now. I tried to get one already. Dude, we need it. Shradman, if you're watching this, we want it to buy yours, bro. Come on. Who finds financing over Memorial Day weekend? We tried. We Wednesday, tried. Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We had the financing Tuesday, bud. It's all right, though, Strad, man. One day I'll meet you and I'll forgive I, you for the C8 I thing. Know. I'll get over it. He'll give you a handy. But now, I think, Squirrel Brain's getting to us, but I think what are you just we, how handsome we may <laughs> or may not you be do an oil friend? change on the 2020 <laughs> Shelby GT500 and possibly one dyno run. I don't know though, we'll find out. <laughs> we got it all, but we found the filter, boys. I told you, it, it's in the, it's in, in the, the thing. It's in the glory hole. <laughs> but we got, how's everything looking in there, dude? Nice, it's good? A little muddy. A little mud? Mud bog in there. Maybe a little salt from our winter drive. But other than that. Winter drive. Stamped by Ford. That's how you know this isn't a uh, fake GT500. Time to take the whole entire car apart to find the drain plug and then uh, <laughs> Can you drain it without? Oh nice This is gonna make a mess. Shout out to Ford just thinking of everything. This is this is not thinking of everything right here You're gonna have to yeah. lay a pig mat in there and <laughs> let it let it rip I guess Oh, that's... Look it's gonna hit right on this bar. That's Genius. All right, so we're gonna pull the drain plug, drain this boat. It's calipers though. And then, oh, from the back. But all right, we're gonna pull that, let the oil do it. It's a little drip drop action. We'll put all 27 quarts of 5W50 in the engine. But I actually think it's 11 and a half quarts, 11 quarts, something like that. All I know is it's like a $200 oil change, but you know, Got to pay to play. At least we have one of these things. So to empty the oil, guys, all we've been doing lately is just pouring it down the drain. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't tell us. We we put it in here. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> off, off camera, we're talking about bad stuff, guys. But on camera. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, bud. I don't know how bad this is gonna. Got enough length. Oh. Yep, just keep swearing. <laughs> Guys, if you hear any bleeping, it's mainly... Oh, wow! That's a freaking stream. This looks good, though. Nice and clear. Yeah. No chunks of anything coming out yet. Yes, Tom. There's chunks in that oil. Well, hopefully there's that's no the chunks. That's the sexiest looking oil I've ever seen in my life. That, that's that's straight horsepower. Give me a little sip of that. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Dude. If you drink that, you'll run fast. Ten Here, horse. let me see. Let's see how hot it is. Ow. If you drink it, you'll run faster. I'll take a shot. I'll take a shot. <laughs> Why would you do that? Alright guys, that's definitely break-in oil. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to test it. Just wanted to make sure. But uh, we'll let this drain for, about for three hours. half hour. <laughs> Cause it's that 29 quarts. Once she's all done, we will, uh, you know, catch up with you in a second. <laughs> all right, guys, on today's episode of Critiquing Ford's Engineering, um, I don't like the placement of that. But we like everything else. Yeah, everything else, we'll, we'll take it, but. You can put that oil in a jug and save it. That's hanging cool. on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> show me. Rip it off like a Band-Aid. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was a little milky, no? What? Don't ever say that again. <laughs> never. No, that's fine. Never about this car. Look at the look at the metal coming off of that thing. Well, it's not metal. It's what air, you. <laughs> it's air bubbles, you f***ing <laughs> turd. <laughs> look at the metal. Josh is like, what? This thing's f***ing rust. Oh jeez. I'm not even joking. <laughs> All right, down she goes, boys. Six, five W fifty. I've never even heard of that. But German. German. This is basically 
basically a German <laughs> car. <laughs> Look it, it takes a case, boys. Only the other cases we have around here are cases of claws. <laughs> and Bud Lights. Drinking claws, Sponsored by both. After this dyno run, something tells me I'm gonna need a beer because I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna need to settle down. Hit that pole off on the next one. How's that look? Hold on, don't do it yet, bro. Are you gonna get all 12 up here? No, 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 no. Give me, give me another one. Look at that. We're gonna get a sponsor from Amsol by this. You're welcome. <laughs> Call is back. All right, guys, me and Dan need your help. He's here with me. And what's up? What's up? we're thinking <laughs> if we buy a Hellcat together, it would only be about 300 a month per and person. per person. It's and that's a used Hellcat. A used, not new. I'm a used guy. I'm not a big depreciation well, like a 16, guy. Wasn't but it? That's pretty or good. Or a but, C7 Corvette. So a Hellcat, right? 300 <laughs> a month between, <laughs> between the two of us. And if you think about it, what could go wrong? You know? So, I don't uh, know. Who, who pays to fix it when it breaks? No. Who, depends, <laughs> depends who's driving it at the time? The, yes, it, that, exactly. But the question is, <laughs> okay, who's let's be gonna, realistic. who's going to stop paying Nobody's going to pay to have it fixed. I'm going to be fixing it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll buy the part. We'll split the parts and Dan does the work. It's a fair deal for me. Deal. That's not a fair deal. <laughs> <laughs> Even trade. <laughs> but I don't know, guys. Comment down below. What do you think? Buy a Hellcat and just... Send it? I don't know. Then that, then that way, I have a car, and whenever I'm not using it, Dan can use it. I don't know. So if maybe, may or may not be a Hellcat coming to a channel near you, I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to my accountant. Don't have one, so it's up to me. <laughs> Right, guys oil change is all set now I'm just gonna raise her up get her lined up on the dyno guys get ready we're gonna run the gt500 on the dyno let me just get the fan going you won't be able to hear me but let's see what she lays down stock and then once we get that number it's time for the mod so let's do it So that time we made 699 uncorrected. All right, so 677. Hold on, let me shut this off. Here. All right, guys. So the the corrected number is 677. Um, so and wow, he got it perfect. 7.4. 7400 rpm on both runs perfect test um picked up a little bit of torque as well but 677 that's pretty good to work off of next stop a thousand horsepower tends to get some mods from jlt and um a few other things that we're going to keep a secret for now but we'll make sure to keep you guys tuned but as always, thank you for watching Larkin Motors TV. Make sure you like the video, smash the subscribe button, and stay tuned for the mods to come on the 2020 Shelby GT500.
That's it for this one, guys. Peace.